Hey there. I uh, got a package today and uh figured I'd do another unboxing video. Um this is well I ordered two things, so actually I don't even know what this is. But we're about to open it up and see. Cut the label. There we go. Okay. Ooh, some NC Star. Might be something cheap. Tactical flashlight. Okay. So, we now know what this is. This is an NC Star uh, rail mounted flashlight system. I just tore that box all up, but I don't want it anymore anyway. Got a little instruction sheet here. stuff. Right. And there's how you get it. I forget what model this is. Item AQPTF. Hmm. Let's see. Almost thick. Uh, here's something. I'm not too happy about the top of the battery. Looks like this thing has been sitting for a while. There's rust <laughs> on the top of the battery. So, good job, NC Star. Get what you pay for, right? This thing was like 20 bucks or something, maybe even less. But it's okay, I got a whole bunch of these batteries. I'm glad it takes this battery. That's what my other light takes. Alright, here's what we got. Nice little bag. At least this is bagged up so it's not rusted. A NC Star. I think it was like 50 or 60 lumens, you know. Nothing too extreme. And this thing says it's a Okay, I guess right there is the quick detach. It just goes on and that clips up into one of the little notches in your rail. On off switch. Let's see. Put the battery in the front or the rear? I don't know. There we go. Put the battery in the rear. What if I got any steel? There we go. A little bit of steel wool the top of this rusty, rusty battery that they gave me. Don't want to start out with rust inside my light. No thank you, NC Star. Great power, huh? Alright, eh, it's a little better. Steel wool's great stuff. Alright. Hmm. Alright. On. Off. The switch works. Boom. Yeah. Good enough. Kind of blinded myself right then. Whew. Anyway. There it is. And, uh, let's try and throw it on a little rig here. Let's see what we got. We have a Glock 22. Let's see how it fits on there. If it fits. Oh, that's pretty tight. Pop 
snapped into place. It actually looks pretty good on there. I am surprised. Pleasantly surprised. It kind of comes back over the trigger guard a little bit. Hey. It's nice. Very nice. I'm pretty happy with that. $20 well spent, you know? But this isn't even really the reason I bought this light. I bought this because this Glock has night sights. So really, when you've got night sights, what do you need a tack light for? Let's see if I can get this thing back off. I've got to do it off camera because I need kind of a different angle at it. really tight. Good job on that, NC Star. It's a nice tight fit. Okay, okay. Okay. Next, the reason I bought this light, actually, was to replace this big honking thing on the front of my Sub 2K. And we're going to see how it mounts on there. But I'm running out of time on the video, so see if I can do this in under a minute. Alright. Got that one off, and I installed this rail on here. You know, they don't come with rails. Uh, it fits a, that rail's a lot less tight than the Glock rail, but who knows? It's kind of ugly and unsightly on there, because, I mean, it's made for a pistol. Dangles down a little bit. But, uh, you know, it, who knows, who knows where it'll end up. But, um, it fits on both. It looks better on the Glock, but it, you know, it saves weight and space as well on this, so. There it is, a cheap NC Star TAC light if you're looking for a budget option to light up some darkness. Uh, we all enjoy your day.